And so uh, where are we? Where, where are we in the United States? Well, Verizon is the only major communications provider that has decided to move toward 100 megabit, toward fiber to the home, which has, which will ultimately have uh, virtually unlimited capacity. Uh, and that's great. They'll have enough capacity, but they don't operate across the country. Uh, they operate in only about 16 states. They're only rolling out Fios in about 16 states. Uh, they ultimately hope to get past uh, about 18 million homes uh, out of more than 350 uh, population. Uh, so their, their footprint is relatively small. They're, they've announced only one major city. Their strategy is to create, uh, at least at this point, uh, donuts around certain major cities in their areas. New York is the only city where they've announced they're going to try to extend uh, broadband. AT&T has a, a different kind of technology called fiber to the node, where they bring fiber to neighborhood nodes and then com complete their connections to the uh, residences by using their traditional twisted pair copper. Well, that limits their capacity to roughly uh, 20 to 24 megabits per second down and one to three up um, under ideal uh, conditions. And that 20 to 24 megabits per second has to be allocated among all of their services, including television, including high definition television. So what they've decided to leave over for broadband connectivity is roughly six to 10 megabits per second. Uh, their goal is to uh, extend eventually to about 30 million homes by 2010, and uh, that's the level of their speeds. Uh, we will pass by Quest, the other major provider, uh, because I don't think Quest is doing anything here. Now, the cable industry maintains that a new technology that they call DOCSIS 3.0 will have uh, sufficient bandwidth capacity to meet America's needs. Uh, that has a maximum download capacity of about 160 megs, 120 up, but that capacity has to be shared among all homes on a node. Now, in the U.S., there are about 250 to 2,000 homes per node, and while not all of them will be active at the same time, there will be many homes where there are multiple users at the same time. So. The one thing is for sure, there'll be much less than 100 megabits per sec, or 160 available at the user level. Uh, Comcast just rolled, down, rolled out the first of these systems in Minneapolis. They're charging 149.50 for 50 down and five up. Uh, that's very expensive. It'll discourage usage. Uh, their goal is to get out to about 20% of the territory, their territory this year or next, and then the rest by 2010. Now, what about the other major companies, such as uh, Time Warner? They don't seem to be in any hurry to roll out uh, DOCSIS 3.0. Uh, for one thing, if they're not being pushed by a fiber to the home provider, they don't have much incentive to do DOCSIS 3.0. They're afraid of cannibalizing their cable and video content business because there are many applications now available on the internet where users can bypass providers and just get programming directly, and they don't, they're concerned that if they